Hi everybody, I wanted to do a video hoping that it would save you a lot of time because there is an error that I have found in VirtualBox and it's a pretty easy fix. However, there's not much information out there on the errors in general. So I wanted to go over this. Okay, so VirtualBox by Oracle, as many of you know, is um, the pre-installation that is necessary to run Kali Linux. Of course, there's other options as well, but we're just going to focus on Oracle VirtualBox because I feel that it is relatively easy to install, fast, and is a reliable platform. So that's the reason why I'm doing a video here today. Um, now, mine was working fine for quite some time. And then I uh, was messing with some of the users. And at that point, it just didn't work the way that it once did. And I would always get an error. So as a result, I did not use this desktop because I really didn't find the time to troubleshoot it. And you know, today I said enough is enough. I'm going to go ahead and fix this. So I figured it out. I want to share this with you. So why don't we go ahead and just get started. As far as the error message, um, I tried to replicate the error message that I got because I wasn't planning on doing a video. Um, it was basically the box that pops up. Okay, so here, let's just go to images and this will give you an idea. It was a box like this. It was popping up. It was not allowing you to go ahead and start the virtual machine. So I don't think the specific error is as relevant as the fix is. So I'm just saying go ahead and give it a try. But it's something like this, pops up, tried the whole reinstall, wasn't working. So at that point, I just figured it was some kind of configuration file. I was thinking it's an XML file. So let me just show you what I did really quick. All you need to do, let's say you're getting this error message, uh, you want to go to your C drive, okay? And just find the user where you have this installed, okay? So what we want to do is we want to go to the virtual box folder, all right? Here is the um, XML documents down here, all right? Now, I just want to point out, I put VirtualBox underscore bad too, because what I was trying to do is just bring back the error for you so I can show it. Um, however, the VirtualBox, the XML, um, I believe I would have had to restart and uh, reconfile it just to get the error message back. So I just voted against doing that. So if you could just visualize what this would be, you would have your VirtualBox here, all right? And then you would have VirtualBox XML dash PREV. You're not going to have this here, this file, the underscore bad too. That's something that I just did when I was, you know, fixing it. So you're going to have this file, this file. And what you need to do, you want to go ahead, take the VirtualBox XML document. And you can see all of these were just updated today. All right. So... Now you're gonna go ahead and rename this one here. Let's say you rename it, you know, old or bad file, whatever, not working, whatever you wanna name it, okay? So you're gonna name it that, all right? And then what you wanna do, let me just rename that. You wanna go ahead and take this file here, okay? Get rid of that. Now, you wanna go to your setup and you should open up fine without any errors and I have to tell you 
I wasn't even expecting this to work. Hence, you know, I probably should have, you know, did the video of the era. But I assure you that if you have a similar error that I had, give this a try. 